Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amulya's Academy. We were discussing about data structures and in that we were discussing about a linked list. We are discussing about three types of linked list here. Singly linked list, doubly linked list and circular linked list. And we already discussed about this singly linked list, its operation and how to implement singly linked list in Python. So next we will talk about doubly linked list, its operation and if possible we will see how to implement doubly linked list in Python. Linked list is the collection of nodes in which each nodes are connected through links. And in the singly linked list each node contains the data field and only one link that is the link of the next node. But in the doubly linked list each node contains the data field and two links. One is the link of the next node, another is the link of the previous node. So doubly linked list is the collection of nodes in which every node contains data field and link of the next node as well as link of the previous node. So we can represent the node of doubly linked list like this. It contains the data field and here we can see the next link. It is the link of the next node and here we can see previous link. It contains the link of the previous node. And we can represent the doubly linked list like this. Here we have three nodes in the linked list. Every node contains the data field and two links. This is the first node of the linked list. And the first node contains the data field, next node reference as well as previous node reference. Because it is the first node of the linked list and it doesn't contain any previous node, it will store the link to empty value or none or null. And this is the second node, node 2 contains the data field, link of the next node that is node 3 and link of node 1 that is the previous node. And we have node 3 here, node 3 contains data field and two links. It contains the link of the previous node that is node 2 as well as it contains the next node reference as none or null because we don't have any node after that. So in the doubly linked list the first node previous reference is none and the last node next reference next node reference is none or null or empty value. Alright so in this way you can represent the doubly linked list and also the first node reference is stored in the head and that is the starting point of the linked list and sometimes the last node of the linked list is called as tail. Alright so this is about the doubly linked list. Next let's see its operation like singly linked list here also we will discuss about three operation that is insertion or adding nodes to the linked list, deletion or removing nodes from the linked list as well as traversal operation that is going through each node of the linked list and printing the data of each node. So we will discuss about these three operations. Alright, in the insertion operation, we'll add the new node to the doubly linked list. We'll see what will happen when we add new node to the linked list. And we can perform this operation in the different positions. That is, we can add the element at the beginning of the linked list, at the end of the linked list, or in between or middle of the linked list. So we'll discuss about these three scenarios in the insertion operation. In the deletion operation also, we can delete or remove the node from the doubly linked list in different position like at the beginning, end or from the middle or by value, delete by value. We will mention which node you want to delete and uh, we will delete that uh, using the deletion operation. And in the traversal operation, we will go through each node and we will print the data of each node. Here in the doubly linked list each node contains link of the next node as well as link of the previous node. That's why moving forward and backward in the linked list is easier here. So we'll see the forward traversal and backward traversal. So one of the advantage of the doubly linked list over singly linked list is in the doubly linked list moving forward or backward is easier because each node contains the reference of both the next node and the previous node. But in the singly linked list it contains only reference of the next node so moving backwards is not easier. But the disadvantage of the doubly linked list over the singly linked list is we need extra memory to store the two links. In the singly linked list it contains data field and only one link right but in the doubly linked list we need to store the two links that's why we need extra memory. Alright so let's discuss this operation of doubly linked list in detail. 
I'll explain you each scenario with diagrams. So first we'll talk about the insertion operation that is adding element to the linked list. As I said, we can perform this operation in the beginning of the linked list, end of the linked list or in middle. So first let's discuss about adding element at the beginning of the linked list. All right, so we have here doubly linked list. We have three nodes, data is 10, 20, 30. And here each node contains two links. This is the first node and it contains the previous link as none and the next link as the next node link. And the last node contains next node link as none. So for my convenience, firstly, I'll take the next node reference as NREF, next reference, and the previous node reference as PREF. So here, this is PREF and this is NREF in each node. Next, we want to perform the insertion operation. Whenever you will perform the insertion operation, the first step is common, that is you need to create the node. So let me create a node with two links and a data field. Here, this is the data field. You can enter any data, for example, 100. And initially, I'll take both the link as none or null. So we created the node here. So whenever I'll create a node, it will have a reference. So I'll take 5100 as its reference. Now, the next step is here we want to add this node as the first node of the linked list. So for that, first we need to change the NREF of this. That is the next link reference of the new node. It should store the reference of this node that is 1010 here. It need to point here because when I add this node as the first node of doubly linked list, then this node becomes the second node, the next node of this new node. And here every node contains the reference of the next node, right? So 1010 need to be stored here. Now the question is where this node reference is stored. Before adding this node, new node, this node is the first node of the linked list and its reference is stored in head. So what we need to do is, we need to store the reference stored in the head in the new node. Second step is new node reference, that is NREF, the next node reference is equal to head. So here 1010 will be stored here. This is done. Next, because it is doubly linked list, every node should also contains the previous node link. Here we are adding this node as the first node. Now for this node, this is the previous node. So here instead of storing none, it should store the reference of the new node, right? So what you need to do is here it need to store the reference of new node. If I take this node as the first node, first node PREF means previous reference need to be new node. Here for this node, this is the previous node, right? So it should store that reference here. So for that, I am taking like this. I'm taking this as the first node. Now, this is the new node. It contains the previous reference as none. Next reference as the reference of the next node. And here in this second node, it contains the previous reference as new node and the next reference as this node. So it is properly added now. Now, this is the first node of the linked list. Then head should store the reference of this now, right? So you need to remove this and head need to point here the new node. So head should store 5100. The last step is head need to point to the new node. Okay, these are the step you need to follow. You need to create the node and you need to change next link reference of the new node and you need to change the previous reference of the first node and you need to point head to the new node. So this is how you can insert the new node at the beginning of the linked list. Next, we'll see how to insert the new node at the end of the linked list. I want to add new node here at the end of the linked list. For that, the first step is same. We need to create the node. So let me create a node with data field, for example, 50 and both are none. Done. So we are done with the first step. Second step is you need to go to the last node. So go to last node here. This is the last node, go here then change its reference so this link reference here 10 to new node now it need to point to new node last node so it is the nref next node reference equal to new node it will contain some reference like 5900 you need to store that here 5900 next here in the new node you need to change the previous link reference here instead of pointing here you should point this here it should store 2300 
new node previous reference change that to the last node just create the node and go to the last node change its next link reference change it to new node and change the new node reference to last node store the last node reference in the previous link of the new node so in this way you can add the new element at the end of the linked list now lastly if i want to add the element in between the linked list how to do that so for example now i want to add the new node here between this x and y i'm just taking the example okay here i want to add the new node so to add the new node first step is same create the node so let me create a node with one and both as none now the second step is go to the previous node after which you are entering the new node okay so here go to the previous node after which you are entering the new node here we want to enter a new node so here i need to go to here then here you need to change its n reference here i'm taking this node as x so you need to take x dot n reference as new node if i take it as 900 now it need to be store 900 so change the reference here change the x reference change its previous reference it is the new node right change its previous reference to this so here store 1010 and here in the next reference of uh, new node store the reference of the next node that is 4200 here and here in the y you need to change its reference to new node so here you need to store 900 so what you need to do first create the new node and next store the reference of x in the previous reference and in the x change the next node reference to new node 900 store here next coming to the next reference part of the new node this is the new node change the new node n reference that is next link reference to 4200 that is y and in the y you need to change its previous reference to new node okay so in this way you can add the element in between the nodes next we'll discuss about deletion operation we can remove the nodes from the doubly linked list from different position that is at the beginning of the linked list at the end of the linked list and we can mention the value of the node which we want to delete so we'll discuss about this operation with the diagram so now here we have our doubly linked list so we'll take the first scenario that is we want to delete the node from the beginning of the linked list that is nothing but we want to delete the first node this node to delete the first node what you need to do is you need to point head to the second node so here head is the starting point of the linked list now you need to point this head to the second node to remove this node you need to point this to second node here you need to store 5400 and because it is doubly linked list you need to do one more step that is you need to store the link of the second node the previous link of the second node to none now it is storing the reference of this node now it need to store here none so change second node previous reference to none or null now this node is treated as it is removed from the linked list so when the traversal operation begins it will start from here head head contains the reference of the first node that is 5400 so it will be the first node and it contains 2100 so this is the second node and it contains reference to none that means it is the last node in this way you, you can delete the nodes from the beginning of the linked list next we'll see how to delete the node from the end of the linked list so to delete the last node the first step is you need to go to the second last node go to second last node so here in this example this is the second last node and here you need to change its reference okay nref next reference this reference to none now it is storing the reference of 2100 i need to store this none here second last node nref that is the next reference next node reference to none 
now this node is treated as it is removed from the doubly linked list so here we can see this is the head so starting point of the doubly linked list so this is the first node it contains the reference of 5400 so this is the second node it contains the reference to none that means it is the end of the linked list now if you traverse in the reverse order also to traverse in the reverse order first you need to traverse like this and you need to go to the last node then you need to go to reverse order you need to go in the reverse order that's why this node will be treated as it is removed from the linked list next if i want to delete a node by its value then how to do that if user want to delete this node then go to the previous node of the mentioned node this is the mentioned node so you need to go to here the previous node of the mentioned node and here you need to change its reference to this and here you need to change the previous reference to this you need to do like this change this previous node reference n r e f next node reference to next to next node that is this node for example if i take this as x this as y this as z take x dot n r e f as z store this in the here 2100 and here in the z the previous reference as x store this node reference in the previous reference of z so here you need to store 1010 now this node is treated as it is removed from the linked list so head is the starting point that is 1010 so that means this is the first node it contains 2100 so this is the second node and it contains none that means it is the, the last node so in this way you can delete the node all right next we'll talk about the traversal operation in the traversal operation we'll go to the each node and we'll print its data and here because every node contains the forward link and backward link that is next node link and previous node link you can move forward direction and backward direction so we'll see forward traversal operation and backward traversal operation all right so this is about the doubly linked list and its operation and if possible in the next tutorial we'll see how to implement doubly linked list in python so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care